गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इट्स अक्षर दारे बाय देवराज सो आई आई होप यू गाइस आर प्रिपेयर एंड प्रिपेयरिंग एंड वर्किंग टू वर्स टू इंप्रूव आर कम्युनिकेशन इन इंग्लिश सो टुडे इज हेथ जून एंड लेट मी स्टार्ट टुडे न्यूज पेपर रीडिंग before going to start the newspaper reading i would request you guys to please subscribe the channel like and comment uh, to bring a very informative videos in the upcoming videos in the upcoming days so related to health education and personal interviews and achievements and uh, let's start today newspaper reading Yes, guys. Let me start today's newspaper reading. The Hindu. Ten Manipur MLA gets Shoka's notice. Gangster killed on court premises in UP. Cyclone may affect affect monsoon. this affection towards the government not an offense head and smith foot has is in command wrestlers suspend protest and ministers are serious anurag thakur tells protesters that police probe against wfi chief will be completed by june 15 fir is registered against wrestlers on may 28 for reopening will be taken back से साक्षी मालिक मालिक गैंग अफर गुरहाच्युति लॉन्च इस काम टोल टू रिकवर ड्यूज फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स गवर्नमेंट हाइक्स कॉर्प्स एमएसपी फार्मर्स डिमांड मोर No takers for RT could hide nine districts in the first round of admissions. Curfew imposed in Kolhapur after protest. State the government clarifies eligibility criteria for Gruha Lakshmi scheme. The guidelines state that women who have been already enrolled as a Jamani adoptee family in IM Theodia BPL and APL ration cards are eligible for the scheme. Gurhajyoti guidelines for new houses in two days, says Minister. KHB to build five high-tech cities. Ramaya Sat Ground Control Station inaugurated. Satellite Ground Inag Station inaugurated. लोकायुक्त आई जी पी इंस्पेक्टर्स के आर सर्कल अंडर पॉस सीसीवी रेट्स शॉप सेलिंग ई सिगरेट्स Oh, hundred children fall sick due to suspected water contamination. Sir files complaint against woman for cheating. Says she borrowed over of that five lakh from him. Gun runner trying to sell pistols arrested. Delayed monsoon leaves people in Alingana Makhi backwater villages stranded. lobbying in congress for council seats out of eight vacancies in the upper house of the karnataka legislature the ruling party is all set to bag six seats farooq abdullah stress a need for unity among regional parties i adopt 2024 polls cm promises be review of all anti former amendments to laws ensure proper quality in public housing schemes says high court
Alok Kumar is new ADGP traffic and uh, road safety. Cyclone may affect the coast of monsoon. The intensity and diversion of the cyclone Bipar Joy. Bipar, Bipar Joy will help monsoon onset in Kerala. Some scientists feel the cyclone may still considerable moisture away. India Meteorological Department says Kerala is likely to receive widespread rain across the state for the next five days. Bipaj Vipaj are likely to hit Karnataka coast with gale and rain. Public transport should be improved to encourage patronage. Karnataka at sea. Sedition illogical equation of government and state. Let me read this editorial page. Sedition, illogical equation of government with state. In uh, its 27th to 79th report, the Law Commission of India has recommended the retention of Section 124A of the Indian Penal Code, which contains the law of sedition. It has also recommended enhanced punishment for this offense in the name of national security. While Section 124A provides for a minimum imprisonment, for three of three of three years, the commission recommends a minimum of seven. In 2022, the Supreme Court of India had ordered a stay on all existing proceedings and also on the registration of fresh cases. S. G. Umbat Kere, also Union of India, under sedition upon the Union government, assuring the court of a review of this law at the earliest. The court says stay order was in consideration of the fact that this law was widely misused by the law enforcement authorities. An offence against government, not country. The law of sedition in India has a long and infamous history. Section 124A was incorporated in the Indian Penal Code in 1870 the purpose was to suppress the voice of indians who spoke against the british Raj, as the government didn't did not want any voice of dissent and protest the wording of section 124 clearly clearly reveals the intention of the colonial government sedition is an offense against the government and not against the country as many think the offense is, is, is in bringing or attempting to bring in hatred or contempt or exciting or attempting to excite a disaffection towards the government established by law. The offense is committed by spoken or written words, by signs or by any other means. Thus, the gist of the offense is bringing a government into hatred or contempt or causing disaffection towards the government of the day. The law of sedition was defined and applied in two different ways during the British period. The first major case was Kuhn Empress vs. Bal Ganga the Tilak, 1897, in which the Bombay High Court, Bombay Court found Bal Ganga the Tilak guilty of sedition for writing a couple of articles in Kesari, a Marathi Weekly, invoking Shivaji, which was interpreted as exciting disaffection towards the British government. George Strachey explained the law as the offense sedition consists in exciting or attempting to excite in others certain bad feelings towards the government. It is not the exciting or attempting to excite mutiny or rebellion or any sort of actual disturbance, great or small. But even if he neither excited nor intended to excite any rebellion or outbreak or possible resistance to the authority of the government that is sufficient to make him guilty under this section. Later, the Privy Council upheld this exposition of law. The sedition meant exciting or attempting to excite bad feelings towards the government. It was a very draconian law. The second case was Nehru Niharindu Dat Majumdar under Juarez uh, versus Emperor, which was decided by the federal court, acquitting the accused Majumdar Sir Maurice Guire, Chief Justice, explained the law as public disorder or the reasonable anticipation or likelihood of public disorder is thus the gist of the offense. 
these two statements of the law of sedition given by two courts in british british india differ from one another one defines sedition is a disaffection which was interpreted as political hatred of government and comes within the mischief of a sedition the other interprets it to mean that the, the offense is committed only when there is incitement to violence or disorder it may be noted that the privy council the highest appellate court of the of the time approved the law stated by justice strachey in tilak's case further it is said that the opinion of the privy council privy council on sedition was not brought to the notice of of the federal court when it decided majumdar's case otherwise it would have followed the privy council's decision kedarnath and constitutionality of sedition the brief journey into the british era is necessary to better understand the judgment in kedarnath was the state of bihar by the constitution bench of the supreme court and the law commission's recommendations for incorporating the essence of that judgment kedarnath has decided that constitutionality of sedition the court held that it is constitutionally valid for two reasons one sedition to an offense against the government is against the state because the government is a visible symbol of state and the existence of the state will be in a jeopardy if the government is subverted second article 192 imposes restrictions in the interest of the security of the state which has wider amplitude and which includes the law on sedition sedition is an offense against the government anyone who causes disaffection towards the government is liable to be prosecuted under this law this affection has been defined as political hatred towards the government by the full bench of the bombay high court which upheld the punishment of chilak so causing political hatred towards the government in the demands of the public is the offense of sedition in this sense it, it clearly violates the fundamental right to freedom of speech and expression under article 91a of the constitution in a democratic uh, republic where people have the freedom to change a bad government disaffection towards the government cannot be an offense in fact it is a part of the democratic process and experience therefore making it an offense directly a conflict with the fundamental rights of citizens we cannot expect citizens to have an have any affection towards a bad government the law declared by the privy council was final according to which even a gesture which indicates political hatred towards the government comes within the mischief of sedition obviously sedition contained in section 124a goes against article 191a however the supreme court had in an attempt to declare sedition constitutionally valid admitted adopted admittedly adopted the federal court's approach and held that section 124a is valid but can be invoked only when the courts her gestures have a tendency to incite violence the court, the court was away that such sedition as it is worded in section 124a in ipc and interpreted by the privy council could not have remained in the statute book after the constitution came into force in 1950 the court was also conscious of the fact that sedition has a reasonable restriction on the right of speech and expression was deleted from the draft constitution by the constituent assembly the implication was clear sedition was not meant to be a reasonable restriction but the court wanted to retain retain sedition because it was genuinely worried about an imminent communist revolution in the country which kedarnath a local communist in begu sarai in bihar was advocating but on a closer scrutiny we fa- we will find that the position taken by the court in kedarnath is not radically different from tilak as per kedarnath a tendency to incite a disorder would amount to, to sedition and actual disorder need not occur so in substance there is not much difference between kedarnath and tilak the law commission has suggested that the tendency to incite disorder should be incorporated in section 124a the commission defines tendency as a slight inclination it is a police man who will detect the tendency to incite disorder in a speech or article and the citizen will be behind bars for 7 years or even for life 
in fact the kedarnath judgment didn't soften the law and sedition if anything it has brought it closer to the judgment in tilak without mitigating the rigor of the law the recommendation for the enhancement of punishment defies defies common sense when there is a universal demand for the scrapping of this law the commission could not see the absurdity of a law which punishes citizens of a democratic country for making commitment comments which may cause disaffection towards a government which they have the power to remove it is unconstitutional the real issue is that the law of sedition contained in section 124a of the sipc is unconstitutional the law commission failed or didn't want to see the policy in the kedar na judgment which didn't which did not in effect soften this arch law but declared that it is constitutionally valid kedar na the equates government with the state which is illogical in the context of a democratic republic therefore it's attempt to bring sedition within the framework of a reasonable restriction under article 192 is constitutionally impermissible this is about the sedition case article 124 a Nigeria's new president faces old problems. <clears throat> May 29 was a historic yin and yang moment for Nigeria, Africa's most populous country and the largest economy. On the positive side, a peaceful and orderly transfer of power followed a general election with Bola Ahmed Tinubu 70 being sworn in Abuja as Nigeria's 16th executive president he was also the seventh elected leader completing a quarter of a country a century of unbroken constitutional democracy this puts Nigeria as an outlier in a continent with a merited reputation for political instability issues and solutions yet this cell still lack accomplishment stands diminished by a stubborn constant a puzzling inability of the nigerian leadership to release realize the evident socio economic potential of this highly rich and fertile country known for competent professionals and entrepreneurs pandemic issues in of insecurity high unemployment and corruption have long defied the solution nigeria has the dubious distinction of having the world's largest number of people below the poverty line and children out of school insecurity has been a recurrent feature with reports punctuated by boko haram carnage mask kidnappings for ransom bloody ethnic conflicts and petty robberies despite various energetic attempts the country's grid for a generation has remained stuck at around for gigawatt approximately half the peak power consumption of delhi even after spending 25 billion on revamping the highly refineries these continue to operate at less than 30% of their capacity forcing the highly exporting country to import petroleum products that up the crude and its bunkering is estimated to cost the country 5.4 billion annually and fund illegal activities including harmed militias nigeria's socio economic recovery and sustainable development would need front loading of its multiple assets first nigeria has a reasonable competent civil service and professional security establishment and the political elite should allow them to handle the issues without being written rap shot second a pro active hand holding up nigeria's vibrant entrepreneur entrepreneurial entrepreneurial class particularly its informal sector could drive economic growth third nike as a hang society with a median age of 18 3 years 18 by 3 years they desperately need better education skilling and jobs fourth nike is a blessed it is blessed with a large swath of soft fertile irrigated land and reversing its neglect of the farming sector can make the country's put self dependent 
Lastly, the oil sector, the main strap exports and the government revenue needs better focus. Nike has current accrued production capacity is 1.56 BPD, which is significantly lower than its organization of the petroleum exporting countries, ceiling of 1.740 MBPD. This gap needs a plugging up, plugging up, cupping oil theft and bankering, the rollout of reforms. To his credit, the incoming president has acknowledged these st stubborn challenges and the vote to confront them. Having been a governor of Lagos State, Nigeria's economic capital, a long-standing political kingmaker and a business businessman in his own right, he knows what needs doing and how. He has lost no time in initiating the badly needed. But politically difficult economic political policy reforms within days of taking over. The national currency, the Naira, has been sharply devalued. The oil product subsidy costing roughly 10 billion annually has also been abolished. These long needed disruptors raise hope for an eventual end to Nigeria's long economic sclerosis. Several factors predicts, predicate Nigeria's becoming Nigeria becoming more important in the foreseeable future. Globally and for India, thanks to its high Brabath rate, Nigeria's population is expected to double by 2050 to cross 400 million. Then the world's fourth largest, how Nigeria harnesses its human resources and natural wealth such as oil and gas and land would matter globally. This would be a double-edged sword, either leveraging a huge democratic dividend or a society scrimmaging scrimmaging even ever more intensely for untapped and more scarce resources. The country already has enormous influence over sub-Saharan Africa, often serving as a role model and trendsetter, and its role is destined to rise further. India's stakes. India too has important stakes in the political stability and the progress of Nigeria, which besides being a friendly commonwealth country is also a large economic partner. Over 50,000 people of Indian origin live in Nigeria, its largest non-African community. As a rule, Nigerians value India's appropriate technology, which is seen as well suited to the local conditions. Nigeria has over 135 million owned companies have collectively these are the second largest employer in the country. The total Indian investments in Nigeria are estimated to be in the vicinity of 10 billion. Although India has traditionally been Nigeria's largest trading partner, its position has slid down as the bilateral trade shrunk by 21 percent in 2023 to 11,552 billion. Defense, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh represented India at the presidential swearing swearing in. This is quite apt as bilateral defense cooperation has a glorious past. Six of Nigeria's past 15 presidents were India trained defense officers. The Defense Minister's visit would help revive these times. Mr. Tinubu's campaign slogan was Himi Ko Lo Khan or It's My Turn in Yoruba language. With enhanced engagement, India should be able to use the same catchphrase to resonate with Nigeria. <coughs> about the Nigeria's economy status and uh, the the reality of the uh, new president executive president who took her charge as president of Nigeria tackling the human dog conflict Gallo tries how this will be caught forcing the inflation story of the first year the Ukraine-Russia conflict exacerbated and already fraught global trade and production system. Gangster Sanjeev Jiva shot dead in Alaknao civil court. One person held a constable and six-year-old girl suffer injuries. The incident happened when Jiva was brought to court for a hearing in a case. What is this exactly? Notorious gangster Sanjeev Maheshwari Halias Jiva was shot dead on the premises of a Lucknow court and 
Wednesday in the are firing an Uttar Pradesh police constable and a 6 year old support injuries the up police have apprehended one of the assailant identified as vijaya the who is being interrogated after the gruesome incident senior up police officers rushed to the goat while a section of last stage day protest raising slogan against the police for failing to maintain law and order in the court the up police said that the street seater a resident of mujaffarpur nagar in western up was shot near the door of the court's room of a cst court number 3 while being brought for a hearing in the case he was being held in lakno uh, in a lakno jail and was said to be associated with criminal thand politician mukta ansari society form the up government formed a three member special investigation team led by mohit agarwal additional director general technical to probe into the matter the opposition attacked the state Uh, government uh, saying that these such incidents uh, lead to panic bhujan samaj uh, samaj party president and former chief minister mayawati said the shooting that took place on the lucknow court premises today is a big challenge for the government in terms of law and order and crime control in up there is a lot of poor panic among the general public due to such incidents the government should take strict steps uh, this is the demand of bsp Barbarian demand. And then Manipur MLA gets showcase notice. Victim of mob attack in Delhi and Cooky leader battles for life in Delhi hospital. Cooky woman at stage protest outside Saas residence. India U.S. review export control regulations. Six workers crushed to a death under train in Odisha. Car crash imposed in a collapse affect after protest. 89 bodies from crash avoid identification at the AI. I M S Bhubaneswar five cold storage containers uh, sourced to supplement the mortuary capacity. Uh, DNA samples taken to prevent bodies from being uh, wrongly handed over. Priming for assembly election, BJP keeps a close watch on pilots move. Congress wants fire against PM Minister for negligence. Negligence. <coughs> Opposition meeting to be held in Patna on June twenty three. Rare we mirror helps avoid those trying to cause crash. Then come. Couldn't notify fact checking on unit till July 10. Sent it to HC. Bombay HC is hearing a petition challenging the constitutional validity of the new IT rules, which requires social media intermediaries to remove fake content on government flagged by the unit. We shall take up the petition for petitions for final disposal from July 6 onwards. The additional sec solicitor general says that the statement made earlier by the centre shall stand extended till July 10. Majagok Majgan Dock and a German firm stakes strike deal on submarines. Former Adivasi News anchor Geeta Jali a higher passes away. Air India sends ferry flight to Russia for 216 passengers stranded after engine snag. UK PM in Washington to meet Biden and talk tech Mukrib. US Secretary begins uh, Saudi Arabia visit by meeting the Crown Prince. Two dead, five injured in firing at a U.S. high school graduation ceremony. Quiet words in opposition led parliament elects one woman. Thousands flee homes after destruction of Ukraine dam. Sri Lanka police arrest Tamil legislature Pannam Balam. Brown Khan accused of abetting murder. Fans opens poll bid with a Trump critic. Crop shortages could exacerbate inflation following MSP increases. Spillover effects on food prices from higher assured remuneration are to farmers too. Remuneration for to farmers to hinge on food grain a procurement strategy as well as providing market prices as economic inflation in rise. Other cause uh, series uh, cited has already running high. Government right in stepping into curb face gas as duba 
the government to suspend 2,980 crore on coal ignite, ignite exploration. Lovers rising in as a new client segment, Nikon. Trans India to divest in units to Blackstone for 400 crore. TSC is to focus now on AI transition. Bank of Maharashtra raises 1000 crore via QRP. Adik Shishya touted to be the successor. Gokesh survives to steal extra half of a point of leader Karyana. Eden Smith Run India ragged with huge stand, dropping Ashwin a difficult decision. Haddad Maya, Maya stuns Jabio, sets up a final semi final clash with defending champion Sviatik. Messi last set to move to enter Miami from a PSG. Laksita runs to glory in the 5,500 million with their personal best. Rohit Rajpal, Reed and India captain. Patriots vs Iron Man in Premier and Ball League opener. Openers and uh, Chamira help Sri Lanka seal series win. Samir Mahesh climbs silver and bronze in rapid fire system. Clinical West Indies uh, secures ODI series against UAE. Indian Gaz needs a draw against Chinese uh, Taipei to make semi finals. Relentless drive for greatness has capped up later, get up here to catapulted conqueror Dhoni into a common man's hero. And how inspiring actor trade season is, he not only knows how to seize a passage of play with. Thousands of deliriously happy admirers shouting his name, but also compete just as hard if the cameras disappear. Djokovic vs. Halkaraj, a clash of the present versus of the future. Can you spot the quantum physics around your house? Electrons in malar metallic objects have an effective temperature, temperature of tens of thousands of degrees Celsius because of the Fermi energy, a concept that illustrates how much quantum physics controls the properties of everyday objects in our room. Particle physics are describing the fundamental process of nature. This Bengaluru startup features for profit for the planet. Mycelium aims to conserve 10,000 uh, 10, acres of the Western Ghats by 2035 and is currently finalizing the, finalizing the registration of its first property, a 70 acre land near Pushpagri. The idea is to not attract urban where dwellers to come and take selfies but to build a narrative that inspires them. Buying organic honey is considered cool day to day. But can we shift the narrative from buying honey to adopting a beehive? That's what we are trying to do. What it is exactly about demand for speed break of the vehicles in juice straight animals? Let me read this about the Bangalore startup which is for profit for the planet. When Bengaluru based uh, serial entrepreneur uh, Nishant Bess present and moved to uh, Kodagu with his family in 2016, it was an escape from the last hostel and bustle of the city. In his own words, in his own words, Mr. Prasan and an urban dweller until then developed quite a romantic association with Kodagu which was which was also green and a misty. 
It lasted for about two years. The heavy rains and the landslides that shattered Kodagu in in uh, 2018 woke him up uh, to reality with a jolt. Screwed concept. The year 2018 made me realize that not everything green is uh, beautiful. Says Mr. Prasen and when India's state of forest report 2021 came out last year, environmentalist and conservation experts called out how the report had counted plantations as forest, which was misleading. Forest cover is a skewed concept. Our landscape has been abused for years, and as the and the abuse is not visible because of I guess it's all green. Mr. Prasanan, along with Abhishek Jain, who is a naturalist based out of Kodagu, then started probing ways to mon monitor his land without exporting it. This land and uh, this led to the birth of Mycelium, a Bangalore based startup that aims to buy private lands outside of protected forest and uh, conserve a restart, a restore these spaces. We are not buying land for real estate purposes. Our idea is to look at rapidly depleting forests and pause that depletion. We are looking at private lands adjacent to forests or corridors of sorts that are prone to conflicts and then taking them half and taking them half the market says we know the Chandran Chandra Mauliguch and as a co-founder in 2019. Mycelium takes the help of individuals who care for the cause and would invest money into it. They form a collective. The money is used to buy the land and develop the habitat. The collective members do not get demarcated pieces of land but equity in the company, Mr. Chandra Mauli declarifies. The startup aims to conserve 10,000 acres of Western Ghats by 2035 and is currently finalizing the registration of its first property SMT acre land near Pushpagli, named Dancing Frog Habitat. Heart is for collective members as of now. I hope this is not the important for the point of examination. Let me close this and uh, let me move to the next page. The Gipsy Kings comes to town, come to town. Time to stretch out. Proving age is just a number. Amana have been a newcomer for two decades. How can we transition to a lower carbon city? What is the sector coupling approach? How do strategies to mitigate excessive energy use? change with the different kinds of subsidies will a one size fits all approach with work with respect to transitioning to a lower carbon city how do we make energy governance equitable equitable indians issued the highest number of us in student visas wow the approved outlay for 4g 5g spectrum allocation to bsnl cabinet approves a hike in the minimum support price of pad the people evacuated from uh, Kukhaoka dam flooding in Ukraine. How okay, Khan aims to bridge the digital divide in Kerala? How is the Kerala fiber optic network project going to be rolled out? Has any other state declared access to internet as the basic right? Who are the beneficiaries of the project? Who are the, who are the beneficiaries of the project? No, you are English, giving voice to the LGBTQ community and others who need visibility. Pride Month is observed in June to commemorate the 1969 Stone Well Rewards in the US. As the month begins, this article exposes literature that talks about various facets of the queer experience and encumbered by creatures are the need to pander to heteronormativity. heteronormativity. World Ocean Day is observed hard. Eighth June, have a year. This is the end of the page, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the newspaper reading. At least continue forty-two minutes to add uh, two hours to make you better in communication. So I will bring the 
very informative videos in the upcoming days and the upcoming in the future so please subscribe the channel like and comment for more information for more updates related to health health education and personal interviews i hope you guys are doing great and see you in the upcoming videos guys bye bye take care